Southeastern Massachusetts now is under a level one mild drought warning that comes from the state's Energy and Environmental Affairs Office. Officials say after a season of irregular rain events and higher temperatures, there are less than average rainfall totals for the spring. If you live in a mild drought area, the department recommends lifting your outdoor watering to one day a week, fixing indoor leaks like that dripping faucet or leaky shower head you might have and planting local or drought resistant plants. And we've been talking about the droughts. We've not had a lot of rain here, Tony. Mike, I mean, every now and then you get a spot shower, but as far as any widespread beneficial rain, I don't see that now through the weekend. We do have a few isolated passing showers, but it's just that nothing really substantial. The humidity is on the rise this evening. We have low clouds in Newport. You can see the cloud ceiling just above the bridge right in here. Visibility not too bad, but I do expect some fog during the overnight into early tomorrow morning. We take a look at the high temperatures today. Let me step out of the way and you tell me where the sun was today. You can clearly see the footprint of extra clouds and an onshore breeze in southeastern Massachusetts. Much cooler out towards Connecticut. More in the way of sunshine today, close to 80. And in between here in Rhode Island, we were back and forth between clouds and sun and just enough bonus sunshine for like two, three hours to really help the temperatures. Upper 60s, even 72 in Westerly. We take a look at our threat tracker and we talked about we're not seeing any widespread rain or storminess. It's essentially low now through Friday and the weekend. Now, during during, well, this time period right in here, there's the slight chance of a passing shower Friday through the weekend. I just think most of the time it's dry and rain free. So fog overnight, especially along the coastline, an extended stretch of warm weather. Now we're not talking 85, 90, but it does start Thursday afternoon and Friday. Both days are actually close to seasonable, seasonal levels. In other words, the average high for this time of year is 68. We're forecasting about 70 tomorrow, low 70s on Friday, but even warmer by Saturday and into Sunday. So the weekend preview is it's not too bad. Slight chance of a passing shower on Saturday, but mainly dry and a better part of the weekend is warm and dry. Warm meaning temperatures away from the ocean somewhere between 75 and 80. That's more like it. Some sprinkles, nothing really heavy across the lower Cape and the islands. Some of this may skim our south shore during the overnight hours. Here's the wider view. Ocean clouds coming into southeastern Massachusetts right now. Stubborn storm system for days. Here's the Carolina coastline. It's been spinning right there in the same spot. It's been producing that northeasterly breeze since really Mother's Day weekend, and it's been throwing back some clouds towards the coastline. As this sinks to the south, it's going to allow for mild air over the next several days to work in. Look at the temperatures across the Midwest right now in the 80s. I don't think we're getting that warm next couple of days, but each afternoon we'll get closer to the lower 70s away from the coastline. But this onshore breeze or this east northeasterly breeze bringing in some low clouds. We take a look at the forecast and you see the gray skies overhead right on through tomorrow morning. It is a gray cloudy start tomorrow morning. Any sunshine and it would be partly would wait until the afternoon. Watch how the clouds will start to thin the second half of the day. So some partial sun that should do the trick. Get us up into the upper 60s to lower 70s and then the clouds will roll back in again later tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. High temperatures are actually close to average for tomorrow afternoon, but it won't be realized until look 4 o'clock in the afternoon, upper 60s to low 70s. So gray start in the morning. And then during the afternoon with some partial sunshine that should get us up into the upper 60s to uh, briefly near 70 on a light northeasterly breeze. Seven day forecast, same deal for Friday. The weekend is warmer and more humid with a blend of clouds and sun. Slight chance of a shower on Saturday, but a better part of the day is dry.